First of all, I want to, uh, you look great, by Oh, the way. thank you very much. Uh, con first of all, congratulations. The, the office is a big success. People love the show. And we take a little bit of pride here at Late Night because uh, you don't realize, Mindy, you started as an intern yeah, on our show. Yeah, I was a script intern here, Script yeah. intern on our program. How long ago was that? I'm trying to think. Uh, I think it was six years ago. Six years ago. And uh, so now you've gone on, obviously, to, to bigger and, and better things. Tell us just a little bit, what was it like interning here? Did you, was it a good experience? Yeah, interning here was so much fun. I think it's like a prerequisite now on The Office that you have to have interned here, because between me and Don Krasinski and Andrew you know, this, is, this is not a, a joke. This is true. Uh, other interns on our show, and also popularly in the cast of The Office, John Krasinski started as an intern on our show. <laughs> Angela Kinsey started as an intern on our show. And that Mindy, you're, you're also on the program. You started <laughs> yeah. as an intern. Other little-known interns that went on to big things, Harrison Ford was an intern on our show. <laughs> Morgan Freeman was an intern here for a while. And Charlton Heston started with us back in the 40s. I was with Charlton. He was inseparable. He was, yeah, he was a bad guy. He was yeah. Actually, my favorite story when I was interning here was, um, it was actually a moment with you where I was carrying all these scripts and I got into the elevator and it was just you and I. You stepped in. It was just you and I in the elevator. And you, to be polite, said, oh, what's your major? And I blurted out art history, uh -huh. which was not my major, because I was so nervous. Why did you lie to me? I don't know. I was so nervous that we were, I was just, I was petrified. And um, then you were like, oh, it's very interesting. And you had, like, a follow-up question. It was like, oh, the Venus of Willendorf. And I was sitting there being like, please, God, let this elevator ride in. Why have I lied like this so, so badly? This makes me sound like the most boring elevator mate <laughs> in the world. Oh, uh, yes, art history. Mm, let me ask you, mm, Giotto's triptychs of the 15th century. But I just, the elevator doors opened, and I, like, bolted out. You ran away. That's I... usually happens with me and interns. <laughs> They're like, I've got to get away from this horrible, horrible man. Uh, so then you, you, you very, uh, you had success right away. Shortly after interning here, you sold a pilot. Is that right? Yes, I had, um, I wrote a pilot with my best friend and writing partner, Brenda. And mm -hmm. we wrote this show called Mindy and Brenda, which was the story of our lives in Brooklyn before we moved to L.A. Mm -hmm. And, um, we were really excited about it. But then, um, at the WB, they said, we thought we were going to be playing the parts. And then they said, ah, oh, no, we're going to, um, audition the parts of Mindy and Brenda. And, um... We had to go in and audition for our own parts. Wait a minute. So you after ourselves, and we didn't get the parts. <laughs> That's the what? Wait. So you wrote it. You wrote, wrote it, it about yourselves. About our lives. For yourselves. The characters are named Mindy and Brenda. Sure. And then you had to audition, and you didn't get it. No, we were considered not convincing enough as Mindy and Brenda. <laughs> <laughs> so that was my first experience. And so, like, when we, uh, when the cast of The Office won the Screen Actors Guild last week, I was like. Oh, I guess, like, I'm not so bad at playing other parts, just not myself, apparently. You can't play yourself. No, I can't. Now, uh, do you like working... I'm curious, uh, Steve Carell, he's been on the show many times. Seems like a great guy. Is he fun? And I've, I got to work with him a little here and there. Is he fun to work with? Do you yeah, like... Yeah, Steve's reputation is that he's the nicest guy mm -hmm. in Hollywood, and he actually is. And I... Um, my favorite interaction with him once is that um, my boyfriend at the time bared passing resemblance to him. Mm -hmm. And so I um, ran up to him from behind, and I grabbed him and was like, hey, baby, and I kissed the back of his neck. And Steve was like, hey, baby. <laughs> like, that was like a private joke we had or something, instead of being like, get the hell off of me. Have so he, re he, took, he reacted well. He went with it. Yeah, That's he good. was totally sweet. And yeah. then um, and I had to go around and pretend like, hey, baby, was something I did to perfect strangers. So, <laughs> yeah, he's a nice guy. <laughs>